Hello everyone and welcome back to Terraformers Part 3. So we are quite deep into this now, we're getting somewhere, there's lots of things to build, lots of things to do. Uh, so let's get straight in uh, and get cracking with things. Hmm, not sure which one to go for here. There's a couple that could be beneficial. I think we're at the point yet, I've I, I haven't really come across too many occasions where I've decided, oh, you know, I wish I had one other research project we could research. I'm going to go for the culture media lab. We'll go with that one for now. Right. We can now finally build the landing pad, but we can't do it until we have enough food. So we may need to skip a turn to get ourselves the required food. And we have to now elect a new leader. So Gust Gustav is retiring. We now have two new people, Aisha Katri. Her specialization, remove a, removing a rock provides plus one titanium. That could be useful because we're not really mining much titanium at the moment. She also has a sewage treatment plant, plus one water per turn if the city has at least four population. Convert three silicates to ten titanium. Okay, she is... Okay, she's looking good. This guy's gonna have to go some. His expertise is global warming. Perfect for terraforming Mars, I guess. Constructing Mars is 25% less. Choose a mine. It immediately produces five heat and five atmosphere, as well as minus 25 support. Okay, CO2 inputs gain four atmosphere and four heat. So, okay, so he's also quite useful from the terraforming point of view then. So I'm not really sure which one we go for here. She's good from a titanium point of view, but he's good from the, the terraforming. They, they both have merit. They both have a legit case for saying I should pick them. However, I feel like we have a lot of buildings in our research pool that need titanium. So I'm going to go with that. Titanium, titanium, titanium. So yeah, I think we need the titanium for now. Uh, There's a courthouse plus two comfort of living. We've got a residence station and we've got a university. So again, we're seeing some new cards. We don't have the ability now that we had before, but we can just do that and just take the science. So this provides uh, one water, an extra water per turn. Which we don't really need at the moment. Convert three silicates. So we have 29 silicates, and this is going to be a, that's going to be a really useful boost. That is. So we can now all of a sudden look at everything we can now suddenly do. Road paver depot. So we're going to go into here. Uh, sorry, not there. Into Newport. I want to build this. Provides plus three expansions. So if I go back here now, yeah, look at that. We've got three expansions. We'll just do that one for now. Can't build there because we don't have enough power. At least we do. So we're going to go build that there. I like how things just suddenly build. That's really, really quite cool that you can just see things building up. And if we look at this place, similar look and feel to it. Got five population here. Where is habitation module? So I wonder if... Next time maybe we get a habitation module. We could build, we could build this for 17 water oxygen factory. Don't have enough space to build it because we need to delete those first. Okay, so that's not going to work. Three titanium, though. We can now build that there. So finally, we have our landing pad built. So now we can do another trade. If we want to, but for the time being, we don't actually need to. So that is fine. So here we go. So this is must be the is this the bacteria job? No, it isn't that was already at three, wasn't it? I think I'm lying. Greenhouse farm. What's our current support here? So they're fine. Temperature and oxygen is fine. Radiation protection is good. Support level is good. Radiation protection is good. Oxygen level of rain is okay. Ish. So that place is okay at the moment. We don't have any food at the moment. We need to get producing some more of that. I think we are we're in an okay position. We just need to basically just 
advanced time a little bit, I think. I recently discovered bacteria which developed to Mars has contaminated large amounts of our food stockpile. It spreads indiscriminately across meat, vegetables and grains and is hard to detect during routine food controls. If we don't want the bacterium to spread among our population, we have to get rid of our entire stockpile. An experimental sanitation method is also available, but it isn't cheap. Since initial tests with volunteer subjects have shown the bacterium's short-term effects to be negligible, we could just keep the food and risk exposing our population to it, but who knows what it would do in the human in the longer term. But we can take the risk and use 100 support. We can use the sanitation method for minus 20 science. We can lose all our food. And to be honest, we only have three. So I think we're just going to do that. Cause we've not got enough food to lose that it's going to be a big headache. So that's fine. Um, we don't want any of this. That's None of that is particularly... Uh, we know we'll take the robot hub. We'll take the robot hub. Okay. So we've got another nitrate de deposit there if we need it. Can we build anything? So we've got the oxygen factory we can build. We've got the cultured meat lab we can build. Uh, we've got satellite location that we can explore. What we got around here that we can explore. Let's explore down this way. Some more food. Lovely old job. Um, do we convert our silicates into titanium again? I think we do. So we just need some more power, really. Aren't we? We're not really generating huge amounts of it. Brian Electrolyzer, that's plus two support. Okay, let's move on. on a location insect farm take that for the power generation right so this one here we can still what we got here is some nitrates so we can expand there and build a mine at the very least that gives us the ability to mine more nitrate which we can use in trade which is exactly what we're going to do for the moment we're going to go big on that and give up and give up the income of the nitrate we're not actually going to lose any because we're gaining two and we're giving away two so that would just stay at 32 for the time being which i'm i'm fine with so here at new sophia don't even have enough money to maneuver stuff away to maneuver the rocks away. I think one of our passive abilities, I think, is we gain a titanium, don't we? If we... And was that the other guy? That might have been the other guy. I can't remember. So we've got another possible location for a city up here, if we so choose. We've got rich soil here. I'm trying to remember what this does. We can put a nitrate mine on it. Or an agricultural complex. We do that. We actually need to control the area first, don't we? And we need to explore. So let's explore there. Take the two water. And we could do. We don't have the control over that yet, do we? So we could control the control that. Some some of that on there. Bonus plan to place on a high location. Don't think that is a high location, is it? It's rocky plains. That's fine. I don't care. We'll take the plus one. It's fine. Then how do you, how do you tell if it's a? Oh, there you go. It tells you if it's on a situated on a high plateau. So we should have actually can relocate that, can't we? But we don't own that part yet, which is annoying. Oh no! Wait, it did. Do we move it there? Is that a bug? Because we don't own that place. Okay. Let's see what happens when that finishes building. Uh, right, move along. Hospital, school and research center. Possibly research center might be useful. Just about that creation of power, isn't it? So I like to build the robot six power, six titanium. It's going to cost us three to move. So in fact, we need nine power. 
to do this. Nothing here that must be placed on a location. Everything is a city, a city building card. Do we need more? We don't need more titanium at the moment, so we're going to go exploring. Let's go there. Fire science, three titanium, two nitrates. Import methane from Titan. Homesteads. That's a plus four support for that one. Road Paver Depot. That's a good one for expansion, isn't it? I think. We're gaining four titanium, uh, four power every round at the moment, which is good. Um, let's check out what's over here. Another place for a potential city. How many silicates we got? We've got quite a lot of silicates. We could just convert that into because again we've got a lot of buildings on the bottom that need titanium so we're, gonna do, we're just going to do that bioengineering scientists are making progress on adapting life to the UK they've been experimenting uh, minimum requirements is one oxygen two prestige plus one science per ten if the climate zone has a city and that one is for one temperature The temperature here is what? It's minus one. Nosophia is zero. So that one could go into Nosophia. For extra titanium, and this one gives plus one science. So we can do this one. Red bacteria in life from bacteria spreader in Noachis Major. But we were. Okay. Um, right then. Right, 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 right. So, we have 10 power over here, so we can actually now smash something out of the way and try and get some more. So do the road do we do the road paver depot? Do we do research? I don't think we need to worry about that for now. We're gonna do the road paver detail. I'm gonna, it's gonna go in there. So three expansions now. So we're not actually so we've moved it there, but I don't think we're getting the bonus for that. Yeah, we are now. There you go. So we, we moved that to the location. We weren't actually getting the bonus until now. So we're now generating the four we need. From that, we can return back that and start building our nitrate stuff again. So power is good, food is good, nitrates are getting two of. Potentially look to just up in other areas. Research center. No, we don't need that, do we? Oxygen factory. Water is only plus one, but we don't need any. CO2 factory. So we do an oxygen factory. Start to see what that does, shall we? That. Uh, need titanium? No, we do not. Let's go exploring then. Is it costing four 
I think it's costing four power to even go exploring some of these. Now they're further afield, it's costing more to do it. Get some more food. Waste incinerator, one power per turn of the city produces at least three food. Another landing pad. Hmm, what do we go for? What did the landing pad? Having the ability to trade at three three units could become very useful. So if we did that for example and just Built that there like that. I have the ability for three trades at trade uh, routes. Research center, again, we don't need to worry about robot hub, we don't have enough power for. Greenhouse farm. We've got the CO2 factory, which we cannot afford to have 10 power. And the brine. Two plus two support for every turn. Per turn for every building owned up by the city that costs water. We got any that cost water? We got a few there that cost water. So this might not be the worst thing ever. We get plus twelve support all the time. Producing a little bit of terraforming and oxygen over there. Import hydrogen from gas giant gives us fifty atmosphere in one boost. That the game is trying to encourage me to do other things, but I'm just not entirely sure what it is. I mean, we are, you can see that the pace is gathering a little bit because resources are coming in. It's the power at the moment that's killing me. I need to find a building that gives us some more power. The X Mars Foundation is proposing a large cash, pri cash prize to push research in a specific field. They're asking us to choose. The field according to the most pressing matters of Martian development. So we've got a bacteria spreader. Already have one of those. And more exploration satellites. An Android hub. We'll do that one. We'll take the Android hub. Another thermo generator. We've also got orbital telescope on Phobos, plus three science. Space hotels. I saw in the papers actually the other day, or I say the papers, like I've read a newspaper for years. Uh, online it reckons... Oh, excuse me. It reckons that space hotels are going to be a thing of the... of the... well, they're coming, effectively is the way is the phrase I'm looking for. Space hotels will be a thing with fake artificial gravity, sleeping quarters, bedroom, bathroom, kitchen, etc, etc. And that is going to become a thing in the not too distant future, which is mad to even think about. So uh, we're going to take that because we need to. We need the power generation. So can we actually? We might build it here. Like that. So we're now plus five on power because everything is costing power right now. So plenty of power generation is the order of the day. And a robot hub we can build. We run out of, or we run out of power to do it. That's irritating. Satellites. We'll do that one. Your exploration party has discovered a breathtaking geological formation. The wind blowing for hundreds of thousands of years has carved rock formations into beautiful shapes. Tur tourist location. Factory. Okay. Gas factory, habitation module. Do you want another habitation module? 
Yeah, possibly we do. But then we've got enough food now. We can actually found another city if we want to. Um, so yeah, I think that's probably what we'll do in the next episode. I think we'll probably expand to a third city. Um, and see if we can really start ramping up production of some of these other things. And just see where this game takes us. I think we're at the point now where we can really start beginning to terraform. We've got beginning to now get a little bit of oxygen per turn from the terraforming. But we need to sort out the, uh, the temperature and the sea level. The atmosphere, I think, is being done by... Uh, I'm assuming that's from the bacteria? It's coming from New Zephyr. What's in New Zephyr? That's creating... Oh, it's the, uh, the oxygen factory, isn't it? That's creating one per turn, isn't it? So the bacteria spread... Out. I'm not actually sure entirely what that is doing right now. And I'm still not entirely sure what I know what the support is. Expectations are now minus 30, so they're going up all the time, so we've now got to keep an eye on that. I think this is just a mechanism by which you get a bit of a game over, so we've got to maybe look at building some some more buildings that have support per turn, like this one, because we're actually negative 6 at the moment, so we need to keep a very close eye on that. This one, the CO2 factory, which we can build fairly shortly. So, yeah, we're at the point now, especially with power and food, we're doing pretty well. Um, but we definitely need to ramp up production of a few other things. Maybe we start branching out and getting some more mines. We've got a couple of robot hubs and Android hubs that can do some stuff. So let's see how we go. So thank you very much for watching, everyone. And we'll see you in the next one.